Okay, so we've seen that um, in the method body, um, we can have method calls with with arguments. The methods have arguments, and um, we see that in um, Scratch as well. So here's a, a move um, block, which is kind of like a method that ha uh, this is a call here um, to a move block that. Um, has an argument of four. Here's turn with an argument of one. Um, we can also create blocks in um, Scratch that have um, arguments. So let's let's do that. Let's say we wanted to play around with the the size of the cat. So we can. Right now, the size is at 100%. If we made it 200%, click on that, then he gets twice as big. So we could kind of um, play around with that idea in here. Um, we could, let's see, we could have him grow. So so this, this is an argument. We're, we're going to build a block in a second, but I want to see if we can make an interesting effect here. Uh, with control, let's see, maybe we want to, uh, do like a, let's see, let's not make it too complicated. Let's just do a repeat, a repeat 10. Um, And let's uh, let's see. Maybe we should do a instead of a set size, do like a change size by ten. How about that? We'll get rid of this block. So if we put this guy back at a hundred percent, I'm gonna type a hundred in here. And then uh, do this. Oh, actually, why don't we start him at 100%? We'll start him at 100% and then have him grow. There we go. Okay, so um, so we could um, make a block here. Uh, just call it grow. And we could just define it like this, right? So if we press grow, he does that. But let's say, you know, we might want to um, change up the effect. We might want to um, repeat a different number of times and change the size by a different number of times. So um, we can go ahead and um, um, add parameters in here. Let's see, do I do this one or should I make another block? Oh, looks like I can edit this guy, let's see. So let's say we wanna have um, a couple of inputs here. What what did we have? We had, um, let's just do for, uh, let's make parameters for repeat and change by. Okay, so let's do, uh, let's do times for the number of times we're gonna um, increase the size. And let's add another one. Let's have amount. So we're going to change the amount uh, that we're growing by each time. Um, so now what we can do is we can um, put, let's see, times here for the number of times and amount for the amount that we're going to grow each time. And now, 
we can use this like a block and see we have two parameters in here and we can put in different numbers let's say we wanted to grow by we want to grow a hundred times by um by one each time what would that look like okay so that's how you how you would use parameters in um in scratch okay and the um, parameter type would be numbers right these guys have to be numbers and you saw that in the um when we're, we're creating it um we can add a um in, uh, input as a number of text well text was to make variables right but the input could also be boolean um so anyway that's uh that's parameters for um scratch and that works like parameters for uh for greenfoot let's look at the animal class for a second and you can see the um the turn method in the animal class has a parameter angle and in java again we have to be a little more uh careful in specifying our, our parameter in java um our, our parameter is called angle, but the parameter type is int. So we have to be clear that for this, um, um, because we don't have, you know, the shapes and, and things that we um, have, uh, the nice cues that we have in, um, uh, in Scratch, uh, we have to, you know, carefully say, I want an int here, I want an integer for the for this parameter this parameter has to be a number and then we can use the parameter inside the method just like uh you could use the these parameters we have here in the um in the, the custom block that we defined